No boat building video is complete without a picture of the sailing ship. This is the USS Constitution, the oldest floating commissioned warship in the world. Welcome to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this video, we continue working on our stand-up paddleboard. I'm going to fit the ends and glue them up. If you watch to the end, you'll get to see me make a major screw up and then figure out how to fix it. When we last left, we had finished working on our rails and got these all sanded smooth and we're pretty much ready to put some epoxy on here. The only thing that we have left is the ends. And at the moment, it's just wide open. I can stick my fingers in here. So I thought about it, looked for some wood that I had laying around. I kind of thought about trying to get some mahogany together, but I didn't have anything wide enough. And I also wanted something that was relatively lightweight. So um, I found some, some pine, just white pine, and it wasn't quite thick enough this way. So I put two pieces together and I, I did it with epoxy. And so now I've got a piece that's big enough that I can mount up on the front here. And then obviously we'll shape it so that, that it looks right. Well, one of the things that I was thinking about was grain orientation. So all my grains running this way lengthways on the board. And so I wanted my grain to run the same way on, on these blocks on the end. Now on this one, we're just going to kind of round it off a little bit, kind of just in the same kind of way that it's running right now. And I may kind of tape it on there for a minute to see what that's going to look like. And then uh, take it to the bandsaw and, and cut off some of these corners. And then um, the other thing I got to do is I got to get this perfectly flat. And I'm trying to, trying to put it on here and it's, I can see just a little bit of space in there. So I think what we're gonna do, I'd already sawed this off, it's pretty straight, but I think we're gonna take the belt sander, Bernie the belt sander, and take it and hold it just straight on there. And that should give us a nice flat facing for this. And once we do that, get this kind of pre-shaped a little bit, we should be able to, to glue that up. Now we're gonna have to do the same thing in the back and we'll look at that here in a minute. Yeah, that's good like that. That's good like that. I'm gonna tape that on there for a second, just to see if I can figure out what my curve angle should look like. Again, this is one of those things that you kind of want to take your time with because, um, you know, like when we were doing the rails, it's, it's a focal point. This is going to be a focal point. We want to see what it's going to look like. Now, see, I could, I could use that. That's too harsh. I think... I think just kind of like that maybe. I'm trying to make that just kind of straight up and down with the edge of that. And then I got this little hook in here. 
So we'll make that the same on the other side if we like that. Let's get a pencil and draw on that. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look the same, but it could be because I got this tape in here. I know what I can do. I can measure. We're about the same right there on each edge. So if I measure in here and see if we're the same distance. Right at one and a quarter. Yeah, yeah, that's the same. So I think I like that. I had an idea about taking a batten and putting that up here, and just kind of bending it around. But quite honestly, I get about the same, about the same look. So any number of ways you could do this. I think we're good with that. Let's take that over to the bandsaw and kind of clean that up and see what happens. Now I'm going to mark on here. Let's see. Top. And go on like that. Well, that's going to be obvious. Okay, so we got her cut off. Hopefully that's fairly symmetrical. Okay, so we got a really nice cut here and it fits, it fits really well. We're not, we're still sticking out away from the rail just a little bit on both sides. We're good on that. The other thing I notice is that uh, we're, we're way too thick. So this bottom part is really pretty flat. So what I could do is hold this thing up with it being pretty much matched up on the bottom, take a pencil and draw in here, and maybe I can go ahead and cut some of that off. The less I have to shape later, the better. So I'm, I really do think we can get some of that excess off of there. So you see, I got a pretty good line on there. If I can, if I can take that to the bandsaw and just cut that curve off of there, boy, we're going to be right close to being where we need to be. Now, I stayed outside the line. Just ever so slightly, but I think you can see we got a pretty good, pretty good cut there. All right, we had something kind of weird happen when we cut. You can see that it's thicker on this end than it is on this. And I think it's just the bandsaw blade may have not been quite tight enough. But it's going to be um, fine. I've got good clearance here here and on the bottom i can feel it so in other words like it's still got a lip down here this piece is still bigger than all of this is my point and that's good we've got a way to glue it up now you can see that it's going up like that well we'll just have to sand that off and take that off of there um, and so that's not going to be a problem but we certainly took off a whole lot more that we're not going to have to sand off by by cutting off what we did. So I feel pretty good about that. I have a pencil mark on here. We're gonna get rid of that before we try to glue it. But yeah, I think gluing that up is the next thing, right, right here, right now. And then really all we're gonna do is we're just gonna tape it to hold it in there. And I'm just gonna use my Gorilla Glue um, to, to uh, glue this up. So let's... It's always good to have your Dr. Seuss eraser.
kind of kind of crazy. There's not a lot to glue onto. I actually had a, a thought about putting a piece in here, in this end, and I suppose some people might cut it off at that next station. I didn't do that. Um, I'm just gonna load this thing up because I don't care if there's some glue on the inside. Some people might ask, why don't you epoxy that on there? But it really doesn't matter because the next step is to epoxy the whole thing. And then once we get fiberglass cloth over everything and epoxy it, it'll be on there very well, perfectly good. It'd never move. So this is perfectly fine. And it doesn't, I mean, this, this glue is kind of a, a, a waterproof wood glue and that's fine. But... This is gonna be sealed up to where we don't have uh, any water intrusion in this anywhere anyway. Now I'm just feeling these edges on the sides. Scoot it over just a hair. Yep. Make sure I've got, make sure I've got area that I can sand Man, that's already feels like it's setting up. It's good down there. Yeah, I can see some glue squeeze now. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, so we've got our other block here. We've sanded off the edge. It's nice and flat. I can get that taped up nice and tight. And now again, we're gonna wanna try to figure out an angle here. So I'm gonna use this French curve, just like we did before. Just kind of try to eyeball it, get a good idea what looks nice. This is a harsher curve coming around. I I don't know. That takes we may have more on here than we need. We may cut this off some. Uh, I kind of think I like that. Let's draw that on there and we can just kind of look at it, see what we think. I moved it. Okay, now we are, this little circle is right on the edge of that, this one here. So I'm gonna flip it over and try to make it match up the same way. Yeah, pretty much like that. Now with any luck, we should be right, pretty much right in the middle, and boy, we sure are. My only other thought is if I go cutting all that off of there, uh, am I gonna have a way to, yeah, I should be able to tape it back diagonally. I don't have to have a flat edge up here to tape it. No, that should work, that should work fine. Now I'm gonna cut this tape here like that. Yes. I've drawn on it. So we're just gonna cut it with the tape on there. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, I didn't film putting this on the bandsaw and cutting it, but 
Uh, boy, I like that. I kind of didn't expect this to be a smaller piece on the other end. This is actually the front though. So uh, I like that. I may round this off just a little bit. I don't need it to be a sharp point. You know, there's no right or wrong way to this. You just, you just do it to what looks good to you. I actually think I'm gonna cut some more off of here. Just that much less to shape later. I got quite a lip. I may take that to the sander and just sand down, down that, that dip. You see, I've got the curve on there. I just may run that on the belt sander and just take that, take that edge down. Sand it now or sand it later. Pick your pleasure. Kind of getting a nice shape to it. Let's see how that fits on there. I think that's going to be great. Kind of got that rounded off just a little bit. We didn't come all the way down the line. I, it's going to come down further than that, but... It's a good start. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. Let's glue it up. I feel like I could still take off more on this bottom. I've got quite a lip. I've probably got 16th of an inch easy. Maybe even an eighth. I can still take off that much. It's a lot. Uh, to where I can see that I'm got my line right there. Here's my line that I drew. If I can just push it right straight through there, just like right like that, I think we're gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. Just right like that. All right, here goes nothing. Where's my goggles? Yeah, there's a little bit of burn on there. Oh dear, I made it cut off the wrong end. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, rats, because I had that all, oh no, I did, I cut off the wrong end. Let's see if I blew it, if I completely screwed it up. I got, I, I don't have a lip anymore. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, that was so dumb. Maybe I can glue it back on there. I can glue it back on there. Oh my gosh, that was just so dumb. Okay, all right. Did it come off that side or the other side? That side. I can tell by the grain. That'll work. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, now I gotta glue that up and clamp it and leave it for a little while before I try to glue it onto here. That's fine.
Okay, hopefully we averted disaster. I glued it up. I got all the edges really smooth. The glue squeeze out. I think we're good. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be okay. Good grief. Well, sometimes you goof it up and then you gotta figure out how to fix it. If you like the video, Remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.